Brad Eli. Today is February 15, 2024. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. A human rights advocate is warning that a proposed law in Hong Kong could further restrict religious freedom. Francis Wee, a U.S.-based advocate from Hong Kong, spoke earlier this week to the Hudson Institute about the risk to religious and political dissenters under Hong Kong's expansion of the 2020 national security law. She noted the arrest of media mogul Jimmy Lai shows the crackdown on freedom of speech and of assembly. A state senator in Kansas introduced a bill to place in the state capitol a statue of Servant of God, Father Emil Capon. A celebrated military chaplain, this privately funded statue aims to honor Capon's exemplary life. The Kansas Senate's Federal and State Affairs Committee reviewed the legislation on Wednesday. The Kansas Catholic Conference advocating for Capon's recognition sees his story as a beacon of hope and moral guidance amid today's political and cultural challenges. Lawmakers in the Sunflower State are also considering a bill backing child support benefits for pregnant women. A GOP-led measure would change a state statute defining a child to include unborn children from the moment of conception. Pro-life groups are praising the effort, claiming the financial assistance for troubled moms could lead to fewer abortions. And a U.S. Senator from South Carolina is introducing a bill to protect federal funding for pregnancy centers. GOP Senator Tim Scott, along with fellow Republicans, says the proposed legislation will safeguard funds for pro-life facilities ahead of the federal government's plans to block such funds. In a press release last week, the senator remarked, I'm proud to join this effort to allow pregnancy centers to continue doing the Lord's work and providing hope for families struggling to make ends meet. A new prayer campaign is being launched this Lent to intercede for women who are considering abortion. The Pro-Life Action League, founded over 40 years ago, is inviting all pro-lifers to visit its website and pledge prayers as well as fasting. The league's director says research shows most women who get abortions really do not want them. We pray that every woman facing an unwanted abortion will find the strength to say what she really wants and the encouragement and practical help she needs to resist the pressure to get an abortion. We pray that the people close to that woman will listen to her with open hearts and support and encourage her as she chooses life for her baby. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your Church Milton headlines. Special thanks to our supporters who make our work possible. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. God bless you.